Hi guys and welcome back. One of the most important concepts to understand in access control in Microsoft Azure is role-based access control, also known as RBAC. RBAC allows you to delegate access to manage your cloud resources so that you don't have to provide access to your entire Azure subscription and potentially compromise a whole lot of different assets. Instead, if a particular person only needs access to certain specific services or specific resources inside of your Azure subscription to perform their job role, you can create a role that has those permissions defined and then provide that role for access to that particular person, or rather provide that person access to the role. So what we're gonna do is use the Microsoft Azure portal to jump in and create a new Azure Active Directory user with no privileges, and then we're going to give that user just enough privileges to manage a specific set of resources inside of our Azure subscription. Let's jump in. All right, so here we are inside of the Microsoft Azure portal. And the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new user inside of our directory service. So let's head over to the Azure Active Directory service, and then we'll go to manage users. Go ahead and click the button to create a new user inside of your Azure Active Directory tenant. And then scroll down here and let's fill out these fields. First of all, make sure that if you have a custom domain name associated with your Azure Active Directory tenant, that you choose the domain name that you'd like the user to log in as. So in this case, I want to log in as a username at treversullivan.net. And then we'll use the example username of Chris. And then we'll give the person a name like Chris Green. And we'll fill out his first and last name. Next, I'll go ahead and associate a password with the user so that we can log in. And then down here, don't worry about specifying any additional roles because we're actually going to add some permissions later on. So go ahead and click on the Create button here, and it should take just a second to create that user. Next, we'll want to open up a new browser tab and go ahead and log in as that user. So I've opened up a new browser tab in Firefox here using Firefox Containers so that my session is separate from the one that I'm using to administer my subscription. So I'll start by logging in as this user by typing the username, which is chris at treversullivan.net, which is the custom domain name that I selected in my tenant. Next, we'll go ahead and just type the password for the user there. And as you can see, it says that we need to update our password because we're logging in for the first time. So I'll go ahead and just update that now. Once you've updated the password, go ahead and just choose yes to stay signed in. And as you can see, we are now logged into the Microsoft Azure portal. So for starters, if you navigate over to the Azure subscription section here, what you'll notice is that we don't currently have access to any Microsoft Azure subscriptions. So we won't be able to see that in the list of subscriptions here. Additionally, because we don't have access to subscriptions, we also can't view any of our resource groups that we have provisioned resources into. So the first thing that we need to do is give this user access to our Microsoft Azure subscription. So because this user doesn't have access to any resources inside of Microsoft Azure, the first step is to switch back to our administrative user inside the Azure portal and give this user read access to our Azure subscription. All right, so let's switch back to our admin user here in Firefox, and let's go ahead and navigate over to our Azure subscriptions and select your subscription from the list there. And then under access control, where identity and access management is in parentheses or I am, we need to assign this user a role. So head over to role assignments, and you'll see that currently Chris at treversullivan.net does not have any associated roles. So go ahead and click the Add button and then choose Add Role Assignment, and then choose the role that you'd like to give them access to. So in this case, I'm going to make this user a reader of my Azure subscription, and then we also need to ch check off who to assign access to. So in this case, I'm not going to be assigning access to a specific service inside of Microsoft Azure here. I actually want to delegate access to a specific user inside of my Azure AD tenant. So that'll be the default option. And then you can do a search here and just filter down to a list of the users that match your criteria. We'll search for Chris and then choose Chris and then save that role assignment. So now that Chris has been added as a reader in our subscription, let's switch back over to Chris's browser tab here 
and see if we can now see that subscription. So go ahead and click on subscriptions again here, and you can now see that under chris at trevorsullivan.net that we now have access to a subscription, and the, the role that we have right here is reader access to that subscription. So now let's try to view a list of resource groups inside the account by clicking on resource group. As you can see, even though we gave the user read access to the subscription, the user does not currently have access to view or manage resource group. So let's go ahead and switch back to our administrative user, and then we'll dig up the resource groups feature here. And then let's say that we want to give Chris access to manage this storage resource group. So let's go ahead and click on that resource group and head over to the access controls just for this one resource group. Now we'll go ahead and click another add role assignment here and se select the role that we want for this particular user. And we'll make Chris an owner so that he can perform any operations inside of this resource group. And then of course we need to choose the user principal that we're going to assign this role to. So now Chris has been added as an owner role for the storage resource group, but he won't be able to view the other resource groups that I have, such as the Azure Monitor or the Cosmos resource group. Now let's switch back over to Chris here. We'll head back to the home page and click on resource group. If I click on the Azure Monitor resource group, you can see that we don't have access to perform any operations against this resource group, such as deleting it. If I attempt to delete the resource group, you'll see that we get an error message saying that the user does not have authorization to perform that particular action. However, if I come back over to resource groups, click on storage, and then delete this resource group, I should have access to do that. As you can see up here in the top right hand corner, Chris has successfully issued the delete command against this resource group, and it's currently in the process of cleaning up. As you can see, it's pretty easy to create users in Azure Active Directory and then delegate access to specific Azure subscriptions, or I like to think of them as accounts, as well as the resource groups that are used to logically manage the resources inside of your Azure subscription. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in a career in IT, or maybe you'd just like to brush up on your IT skills, check out cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free account.